Sheldon here with VSL Computers, and I wanted to put together a short video kind of explaining a little bit more in depth about a news segment that I saw on Channel 8 a couple of days ago concerned the ring doorbell and how bad guys were compromising users' ring doorbells. And this is really a twofold problem. The first uh, is, is about the way we manage our passwords. So everyone knows that when we're creating passwords, we should make them like 73 characters long, utilize uppercase letters, lowercase letters, symbols, numbers, maybe something from around the house and the solar plex. And then we should change these passwords every eight minutes. A lot of us don't do that. Um, but what we do, many of us, is we use the same password everywhere, which leads us to the second part of the problem. Pwning. Pwning is when bad guys try and hack into websites and steal usernames and passwords. And if they can read the passwords, in other words, the passwords aren't what we call hashed, but if they can read your username and your password, you have been pwned. And the bad guys try and take these usernames and passwords from the website they stole them from, and they try and use them on other websites. So maybe they'll try and get into a Target website or an Amazon website, just using these same username and password stolen from this one website. And oftentimes they, it works because many of us use the same username and password everywhere. So the lesson learned here is uh, you should not use the same password everywhere because you don't know how well a website is protecting their data. And uh, somebody like Amazon, you, you're probably not having to, you don't have to worry about that so much. You've got the, hopefully the money and the expertise to protect your passwords. But if we start using the same username and password on every website that comes down the pike, good chance that uh, you know, a website might get pwned uh, or you could get pwned by someone stealing this information. Anyway, if you'll look down, we have, a, we have a little box there where you can see if you have been pwned. And um, you can just put in your email address, and click the button, and it will show you websites where your username has been found on the dark web.